Hi guys, it is another rainy, nasty, cold, depressing winter day here in Babylon on Sunday night, May 24th, 2015, Memorial Day weekend. This is your old depressed, collapsitarian, eco catastrophist, doomsday prophet, finding himself alone again in Doomsday Trailer West in Paonia, Colorado. And, and good God, guys, I don't know which hat I'm going to be wearing in this rant. Uh, <laughs> as I review this uh, documentary I found right here in the Paonia, Colorado library called Freedom, a road trip, a cover-up, and a surprising solution, solution to America's oil addiction. Uh, I, I don't know where to start this rant, guys. Uh, th this rant could easily take twice as long as the hour and a half descent I just took in into an absolute... Uh, good God, what, what would you call the last 90 minutes I have spent watching this uh, uh, amalgamation of both truth and eco-utopian fantasy. Freedom. Freedom. Yeah, so what this is, is kind of like part two uh, of this documentary that came out, I believe, in 2008 called Fuel. Uh, where this guy, what is this guy's name? Uh, what, what the fuck is his name? Uh, well, I don't know what the fuck his name is. Josh Tickell. Josh Tickell or Tickle uh, was back in, in, in 2008 when they came out with the movie, I think it was 2008, uh, with this documentary called Fuel was was the number one reason I decided to get rid of my gas sucking truck it, it, more than any other piece of propaganda that I watched back when I pulled my head out of my ass uh, six and a half years ago. It was uh, the movie, the documentary. Fuel, which helped me see the error of my ways and convince me to get rid of my gas truck and my gas truck and suck. Uh, yep. Yeah. And so I just can't. Uh, you know, I, I am a great appreciator of uh, of absurdity and irony. And so the fact that this movie that I had never heard of, this documentary called Freedom, appeared in my life uh, when, when I was revisiting my decision to whether I am going to go back and buy another gas-sucking truck just like the one I sold, meaning a Toyota uh, five-speed pickup tr Tacoma pickup truck, or continuing with my life as a uh, as a clueless moron, uh, thinking that it makes one fucking bit of difference whether I own a gas truck and suck or not uh, to this planet. Uh, that this movie appeared here in Paonia, Colorado, right when I'm having this, you know, this moral, ethical dilemma in my own teeny-weeny little personal life. And I also found this, uh, this documentary 
uh, right when my buddy, my my, uh, my uh, fellow tribes member Valhalla fifty six, you know, telling me Hambone, get your gas sucking truck, but get one that burns eighty five percent ethanol. And so what this documentary is, is an absolute just piece of, of propaganda for the ethanol industry, particularly, at least in this country, the corn-based ethanol, that it is what is going to save the planet from fossil fuels, and at the same time, relieve your guilt about your participation in the, in the downfall and collapse of planet Earth by your consumer and lifestyle decision to drive a gas sucking car or truck. Now, I vaguely recall that in, that in Fuel, in the, in the last documentary they did, they acted like algae algae was going to save the planet from fossil fuels. Well, I guess that little pipe dream, that little techno-utopian pipe dream, how algae was going to save the planet, clearly uh, went down the tubes like so many other pipe dreams. So now this is Josh Tickell climbing on board the, uh, the ethanol bandwagon and you know like so many of these documentaries I started out cheering on Josh now and I, and I want to make it clear that everything that this guy says in this hour and a half documentary this descent in, in, into absolute eco techno utopianism everything that he says about fossil fuels. <laughs> Hallelujah, amen, brother Josh. Hallelujah, brother. Uh, everything this man has to say about fossil fuels is kind of a no-brainer. Uh, his, his, his blistering attack on big oil and the fossil fuel industry, namely big oil. He's concentrating here on the transportation sector, is what this movie is looking at, is your gas sucking car and everything the man has to say about big oil from the, from the deep water horizon spill uh, you know, right on up to here on Memorial Day, which will be my my broken record Memorial Day rant, pointing out correctly <coughs> that wars, that what what virtually every fucking war on this planet is oil wars. That what is killing American servicemen in Memorial Day. What it's meant over the past 30 years, as I will point out tomorrow in my in my annual Memorial Day rant, is the is the American soldiers who are dying to defend your right to drive that gas sucking car. Your decision, my decision, uh, probably. Uh, to buy this gas-sucking car is the number one thing sending American troops to their grave. Your fucking gas-sucking car has the blood of American soldiers smeared all over it. But anyway, this is my rant for tomorrow, so I'll, I'll, I'll get off this. So anyway, I'm cheering this guy on. And for about the 90 seconds of the 90 minutes that he talks about industrial hemp, I'm cheering this guy on uh, about uh, industrial hemp. 
being used as a biofuel. Hallelujah, amen, brother, brother Josh. But but everything else in in this in, in this documentary about how goddamn biofuels other than other than industrial hemp are are, are some sort of are, are some sort of save the planet alternative to fossil fuels you know guys uh, if if what we're faced with is the choice of the lesser of two evils which is less evil yes guys uh, biofuels are less evil than fossil fuels but the fact remains that they are both fucking evil do you get it you know it's the same goddamn thing with a with with our great decision between republicans and democrats it's the lesser of two evils they are both evil. You know, and, and, and for me to sit here and, and go through, if I were to turn on Freedom, which I absolutely love, the, uh, the, the, the cover of the documentary is a Ford pickup truck just rubbing my face in it the, a Ford pickup truck <laughs> saving the planet with a Ford pickup truck uh, oh yeah if I were to sit here and and go through item by item everything this clueless moron says in defense of biofuels it would it, it, it would take three times as long a, as this ridiculous descent into techno eco utopian fantasy uh, a, a, as this documentary took D to go through a point by point uh, I, 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 I'm just gonna take one point where, well, I, I, good God, I, I don't know where, I, I, well, anyway, uh, it, it, well, I, I don't even want to start going down the road. It, it would be impossible for me to, uh, to play a clip from this clueless moron talking about how fucking biofuels are, are, are going to save this planet uh, from fossil fuels. Uh, and, and then to educate this clueless moron about the truth. But the bottom line of this, guys, <coughs> the eco-catastrophist, the eco-Nazi uh, response to this would probably be the same one that Derek Jensen would make about this, it, it is, it, it is that... This entire diatribe against fossil fuels, but pro biofuels, in, in, in nowhere, in, in no way, shape, or form, calls out the global industrial economy. It doesn't question that the global industrial economy is a good thing. It just acts like we can just tweak the global industrial economy a little bit by replacing fossil fuels with something a little bit lesser evil and that's all we need to do to save this planet. Got one thing to tell you, Josh Tickle. Bullshit level, DEFCON 5.
you know, getting fossil fuels off the face of this planet is the number one most immediate challenge of the 21st century to save the planet. Yes, Josh, you're right on that, but anybody uh, who thinks that getting fossil fuels off the face of the planet without bringing down the rest of industrial civil a global industrial civilization is all we need to do as a species to save this planet you know let's hear it again oh come on now that ain't even bullshit that's horseshit uh we get rid of fossil fuels and, and, and then we got the rest of it you know, he never even talks about the goddamn tires on the cars. Uh, <laughs> uh, or the roads that they drive on. You know, the guy's a fucking clueless moron! You know? I get so sick and tired of it! These little pussy ass mainstream environmentalists acting like uh, that that uh, that we're gonna save this fucking planet by by going from fossil fuels to biofuels. Pull your head out of your ass, people. You know, I'm sick and tired of it. And, and then, of course, it's just the it's just the the entire even even beyond this whole thing of, of the global industrial economy. It, it is still trying to fix these problems facing this planet. In this case, energy. Earlier today, I was doing a rant about uh, about water uh, all of these people just knocking themselves out how we're going to approach solving these problems from the supply side they just automatically assume that a population of seven to ten billion people uh, driving their fucking gas sucking cars and everything is just a given and, and that we're gonna have to figure out how to save this planet from the supply side nowhere do you ever hear mentioned in this entire 90 minute documentary solving this planet's resource depletion problems from the demand side. The quickest way to fix a supply problem is to reduce the demand. This is not fucking rocket science. You reduce the demand on a resource and the problem of the supply fixes itself. Do you, do, never one time, never once, never once was the term, hell, the term overconsumption never mentioned in 90 minutes and sure as shit the term over population was never mentioned one time in this arg in this 90 minute propaganda uh, film uh, about biofuels it never entered uh, this this clueless morons mind the way to save this planet there is one way to save this planet, is to reduce the demands on it by reducing the population of this planet by 90%. Where, 
when we bring down the population of this planet by 90%, then all of these little fucking pie-in-the-sky, techno-utopian, eco-utopian ideas, yes, at that point, uh, uh, industrial hemp will be enough to save the planet. But not until then. You, you're going to be seeing this horse shit coming out, uh, you know, right up until this planet burns. Until we get fucking serious and pull our heads out of our asses ab about what is the number one problem on this planet. There's too goddamn many people eating too much stuff. That is what is going wrong on this planet. There's too goddamn many people. And that said, I, you, you know, I really don't need to go through this point by point. You know, so the, the shit about this cover-up, what he's talking about, and this is no shit, Sherlock, so he's claiming that all of the backlash against biofuels by these, clueless, these clueless moron environmentalists uh, who, are, who understand the threats to this planet caused by biofuels, the number one in, 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 in my book being the deforestation the deforestation caused by them is some sort of, of, of propaganda campaign by big oil. No shit, Sherlock. So he points out that biofuels, such as uh, industrial hemp, uh, are a threat to big oil, and that big oil is going to do everything they can to talk trash about biofuels. No shit, Sherlock. I've been talking about this for years. Gee, what a surprise that big oil would talk trash about biofuels. So what he's claiming is, is that all the things that these little tree huggers, mainly people claiming that deforestation is going to ramp up as the use of biofuels on this planet ramps up, uh, it is a big fat lie created by the propagandist at Big Oil. And, uh, you know, so here I am. Uh, uh, here, here, Ham Mon Little Tail is defending the propagandist at Big Oil, making the the completely correct statement that biofuels will you better goddamn believe ramp up deforestation on this planet. You know, and, and so he, he spends about, out of 90 minutes, he spends about two minutes uh, <clears throat> exploding the myth of deforestation caused by biofuels. Uh, and, and he uses the, this goddamn unadulterated horse shit statistic from the UN. This is how, this is how Josh Tickell, however you pronounce it, this little clueless moron's name, uh, claims that deforestation will not be increased if we replace fossil fuels with biofuels. He goes to the UN, this movie was, was I believe made in 2012. He looks at these unadulterated horseshit statistics from the United Nations, which I have said in how many recent rants, their statistics 
are coming from self-reporting of their countries on their own deforestation rants. So in 2012, the, the United Nations reporting this absolutely laughable, unadulterated horseshit statistic that deforestation had been reduced 20%, the rate of deforestation over the past 20 years, going back to 1990, had fallen by 20%. When, as we finally learned a few months ago uh, from all of this satellite data, unadulterated horseshit, that the real truth is while the UN letting the fox guard the hen house reporting this unbelievable horseshit about uh, deforestation rates dropping, the actual truth with a capital T of the matter is that deforestation rose 63 percent in the same 20 years that those fucking lying sacks of shit at the UN were claiming it was dropping 20 percent. It was rising 63 percent. And how big of a chunk of that was due uh, to biofuels, who the hell knows, but you can guarantee goddamn tea yourself that a big chunk of it was the sugar cane production in the Brazilian Amazon as Brazil, as he, he, he showcases Brazil as a country saving the planet from fossil fuels by going to sugar cane. You know, if, if, if it wasn't so tragic, I, I, I could laugh uh, about this descent into eco-utopian lunacy. It, 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 actually, guys, I can't make this shit up. Uh, one, of the, one of the experts that this guy uses to back up his... He actually interviews... Newt Gingrich. Newt Gingrich. One of the biggest planet eaters in the history of planet Earth as a spokesman to support his argument. You know, when you're a fucking environmentalist and you find yourself knocking on Newt Gingrich's door to support your argument? Dude, uh, you're obviously smoking devil weed. And, but, but, my, but my favorite one is one of all. You guys, he actually interviews a NASCAR stock car driver using ethanol. This is a chick using ethanol in her tank. He... he uh, under her name, whatever this clueless bitch's name was, he identifies her as stock car driver slash environmentalist. Stock car driver slash environmentalist. You know, you know, guys, the, the tragic level of that sick, twisted humor uh, that this little clueless moron, a limp dick, mainstream environmentalist with, with no trace of irony would interview Newt Gingrich and then interview a NASCAR driver and, and apparently, with, with no trace of irony, introduced this person as a stock car 
driver slash environmentalist is all you really need to know about the documentary freedom. So if you want 90 minutes of comedy, I suggest you check out this movie, Freedom. Freedom. I think I'm gonna puke. Bye guys.